Morning, Mrs Goggins. Morning, Pat. I've got the new dog whistle you wanted. Oh, I'm so pleased. Now I can call Bonnie without having to shout. Humans can't hear these, you know. Only dogs. I'll go and get myself a ribbon so I can hang it round my neck. <laughs> then I've always got it and I won't lose it. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bonnie, get down from there. Uh... Here we are. Oh, Pat, let me help you. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. That's great. See you later, Mrs. Goggins. Come on, Jess. Then, Bonnie. Bonnie? Bonnie, where are you? Bonnie! Where's that whistle got to? Bonnie! Oh, what are you doing out there? It's been quite a busy morning, Jess. Meow. Let's stop for our tea break now, eh? Meow. Ah, this looks like a good spot. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> Come on, Jess. Time to go. Meow. Jess? Meow. Meow. Jess? Where are you? Meow. Meow. What are you doing in there? Meow. Come on, Jess. Jess? <sighs> We've got post to deliver. Jess! Oh! Oh! <sighs> Come on. Oh, it's no use. Jess! I think I'm stuck. Help! 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 Oh! Is there anybody there? Hello? Meow. Meow. Help! 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 Jess! Meow! 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 Meow!
Mind yourself, Jess. You shouldn't be playing by the road like that. Meow. Meow. Good lad. See you now. Oh, oh, stop pulling, Bonnie. What's got into you today? <sighs> Morning, Dorothy. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Hello, Bonnie. Oh, she's such a good dog, isn't she? Well, she's a, a little headstrong today. That's why I've got her on the lead. <laughs> meow! Meow! What's the matter, Jess? Meow! 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 Oh, it's almost like he's trying to talk, isn't it? Do you want to play with Bonnie? Oh, all right, I'll let her off the lead. Now you be good, Bonnie. That sounds like... Alf's tractor. Alf? Alf! Hey, up that's Pat's van. You there, Pat? Pat? Alf! Wonder where he's gone. He must be doing a delivery or something. Alf! Over here! Alf! Alf! Oh dear. He couldn't hear me. And now I, I think I'm. Uh, and now I think I'm going to. Uh, ah, now then, now then. <laughs> Keep the noise down, you two. Or I'll have to arrest you for causing a disturbance of the peace. Bonnie, come back. Oh, naughty girl. Oh, well, I never did. I wonder why Jess isn't with Pat. I expect he just wants to play with Bonnie today. Yes, well, they are best friends, I suppose. Hello? Who's there? Oh, only a sheep. You're not much help. Hey! They're my best trousers! You're being so naughty today. Oh, dear. I think I'm going to be here forever. Help! Help! That's Ted's truck. Ted, help! Help! Over here! Help! Ouch! Ow! <sighs> Wait a minute. Now, if if I can just uh, if I can just reach the dog whistle. Uh, uh. Oh, well, what is it, Bonnie? Eh? What, what's wrong? I'm gonna have to make an arrest. You can't arrest Bonnie. Stop! In the name of the law! Hey, Robert, yes! Quiet! Oh, buddy, my Quiet, everyone! Whatever you Quiet. are doing! Oh, naughty girl! Quiet! Oh, thank you. Uh, that's better. Now then. Oh! Ah! <sighs> Got it. Now, I hope Bonnie hears me. Oh, I think she wants us to follow her. Follow that dog. Meow, meow, meow. 
Let's be having you. Oh. Uh, hey, Bayek. Uh, uh. It's no good, he won't budge. Right, everyone. Into line. One behind the other. What this needs, you see, is the strong arm of the law. Hey! Put your backs into it. Heave! Ow! Oh! Thank goodness for that. Oh, Bonnie's whistle. So that's where it went. That's what Bonnie was following then. And, and, what, what Jess was trying to tell us. Oh, you were just trying to help, weren't you? I'm sorry I shouted at you. <laughs> Are you all right now, Puck? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Thanks, Bonnie. And you, Jess. <laughs> well, perhaps now I can get on with my post round. The post must get through. Oh, no! Not again! <laughs> oh, these parcels are all addressed to you, Pat. Ah, that'll be the plants I've been waiting for. Sarah's having a day out, so I'm tidying up the garden while she's away. As a surprise. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> well, you've got your work cut out here, Pat. Yes, I'd better get this stuff into the van. I'll give you a hand, Pat. Oh, dear. I wonder where Pat's got to. Oh, I've been looking forward to this day out for ages. <laughs> Me too. What are you lot doing today? We're going to be knights. Knights? Look, we've got our own shields and everything. Come on! Oh! And come on, Pat. I knight you, Sir Julian. Knight of Greendale. What's that for? I'm making him a proper knight. Can I be one too? No. Why not? Because you're a girl. Girls can't be knights. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Right, then. <sighs> Girl knights against boy knights. Right. Come on, Julian. Um, Mira, what sort of things do knights do? Well, they rescue people. And live in big castles. And have battles with dragons and things, don't they? Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, Pat, thank goodness you're home. We're off to the station to catch the Greendale rocket. You've got a lovely day for it. Bye. 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 Come on, Jess. Action stations. Come on, you lot. Could you give me a hand, please? No problem. The Greendale Knights can do anything. Oh, oh, I don't think I can. Told 
you girls can't be nice. You're not strong enough. Oh, yes, we are. We're faster, too. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm Pat. All right. Tell you what. Why don't you knights leave the garden to me? Oh. Okay then. What shall we do now? I know. Let's look for dragons, just like the real knights do. D -d -d dragons? Do we have to? You'll never be a knight, Lucy. Girls are scared of everything. No, we're not. I'm not scared of anything, especially dragons. Oh! Huh? It's a dragon. That's no dragon, Lucy. <laughs> That's Alf in his tractor. Just in time, too. Only a girl would be frightened of a tractor. What is it, Dad? It's going to be an arbor, Julian. You make it into an arch shape, plant roses all around, and they grow up it. Oh, pretty. Ah, and Ted will be here soon to finish it off. Goodness. Not long until Sarah gets back. We'd better get this new flower bed made. Right you are, Pat. <laughs> I'm a better knight than you. <gasps> no, you're not. You haven't even got any armour. Neither of you. Hey. I know what you need. These. Sacks? Yes, but they look like chain mail, see? Just like knights used to wear in battle. Dad. Can you make one for me? And me. You silly fly. Take that. And, and that. You look like your soul fighting, Pat. Swords. That's what knights need. Almost finished. We just need Ted and his tools to make it nice and steady while we tidy up the mess. Here we go. Wooden swords. Ooh. Great. And God, Bill, take that. We'll see about that. Take that. Come on, Lucy. We can have a jewel too. Uh, <laughs> do we have to? On God. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, Lucy. Maybe Bill's right. Girls can't be knights. We are the Greendale Knights, and we are good and strong. We travel around Greendale, righting every wrong. We have our shiny helmets, we have our victory song. We've made our swords of armor, and we like to put them on. We are the Green Girl Knights, so dragons you beware. We're always on our guard and not easy to scare. With our mighty swords protecting all the land, we hold our heads up high and together we will stand. Look out! <laughs> Sorry, Jess. We didn't mean to frighten you. Bill! 
Look what you've done. Sorry, Dad. Oh, I think it's time you knights took a break. Yeah. Why don't you go inside for some juice and sandwiches? OK. Sorry, Dad. We just wanted to be real knights. But everything keeps going wrong. And we haven't even got a castle. Hmm. Maybe they can have a castle after all. Eh? Hey, how's that, Pat? <laughs> Julian! We're coming, Dad! Come on, knights! <laughs> you said you needed a castle. Hey, I think they like it, but Yes, thanks, Alf. Now, I wonder what's happened to Ted. I ah, should be here by now. <laughs> Look, I'm the queen of the castle. No, I'm the king of the castle. Why don't you both be king and queen together? Good idea, Lucy. And I'll be the brave prince. And you can be the castle guard. The guard? The castle guard raises the alarm if we get attacked. It's a very important job because you have to protect the castle and everyone in it. Oh, dear. See you later. Oh, no. Quick, quick, there's something coming. What is it? Where's all that smoke and fire coming from? Maybe it's smoke from a dragon. No. Look, it's a scary night. A real one. <laughs> What's that in his hand? Oh, no. He's got a fire sword. Ah! Oh, no. Wait. I'm the castle guard. I need to protect my friends. Ted! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you a fright. I've come to fix the arbor for Pat. Do you know where he's got to? He's there. What's wrong? We heard shouting. Oh, hello, Ted. I was wondering where you'd got to. Dad! Dad! Lucy saved us from a scary night. You were really brave, Lucy. Just like a proper knight in shining armour. Dad, would you knight Lucy for us? I'd be honoured. Me? A proper knight? Wow! I knight you, Lady Lucy Selby, Knight of Greendale. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, it's been such a lovely day. Yes, I can't remember when I last had so much fun. Oh, no. Here they come. And the garden's still not finished. Don't worry, Pat. We'll help. Come on, knights! We are the Green Down Knights with chainmail on our backs. It came from Postman Pat. He made it from his sacks. Searching for adventure, we travel near and far. A car. <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Welcome home, Lady Sarah. <laughs> Come on, Mum. You have to walk through us to get to the back garden. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is the most beautiful garden I've ever seen. How did you do?
do all of this? Well, everyone helped. Oh, Pat, you really are a knight in shining armour. <laughs> that makes two of us then, Lucy. Not again. <laughs> Morning, Jeff. Here's your post. Oh, thanks, Pat. I was just looking round the playground. I think it could do with a bit of a cheering up. Hmm. I see what you mean. Wicked. It's lovely. Now, children, what do you know about rainbows? Mr. Pinker, Mr. Pinker, they come out when it's sunny and rainy at the same time. And when the sun shines through the raindrops, it makes seven different colours. My mum taught me a rhyme to remember rainbow colours. Red and orange and yellow and green, these are the rainbow colours we've seen. Blue and indigo, violet too. These are the rainbow colours for you. Why, that's lovely, Mira. Do you know, some people think that pixies hide pots of gold at the end of rainbows. Brilliant! If the rainbow comes back, we can follow it and we can find the gold. Do you know, Jeff? I've had an idea to brighten up your playground. Why don't you paint a big picture of a rainbow on that wall over there? Wait, that's a great idea, Pat. We could do it after school as a surprise for the children. I'll ask in the village if anyone can come and help. Come on, Jess. Meow. We've got work to do. Meow. I bet I could find that gold. But what about the pixies? They might think you were trying to steal it and get cross. Not if you did something in return. Then they might give it to you as a reward. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like sometimes my dad gives me a, a present for helping him tidy up the school. Nah, be more fun to hunt for it. Like going on a treasure hunt. Hello, Ted. Morning, Pat. Have you got any spare paint? Jeff wants to paint a rainbow on the playground wall. All right, let's have a look. Uh, what colours are you looking for, Pat? Well, it starts with red and then there's green. Um, or was it orange? If only I could remember Mira's rhyme. Look out, Pat. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> OK, Ted, that should do it. I think we've got all the colours we need. But I'm afraid your yard's a bit of a mess now. Oh, dear. Well, never mind. We can tidy it up later. Oh, by the way, children, could you come back to school at tea time? Oh! Cos you're all invited to a special tea party. Brilliant! Oh, yes. Great! So, see you later. Bye! See you later, Mr. Pringle. Hmm. You'd better hurry along, children. It's starting to rain. Look! Another rainbow! It, it looks like it ends at Ted's watermill. That'll be where the gold is. Come on, let's go. Thanks for coming, Ted. No problem. Ajay will be along soon. We're going to need some kind of cover to keep the wall dry while we paint it. I'll get me tarpaulin out the back of the truck. 
Right, that should do it. Ta da! Oh! 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 oh. What's that? Oh, where am I? Hello? Oh, hello, Sarah. It's Jeff here. Ted and Pat have just arrived. Could I order some fairy cakes for the children's tea party later? Of course. I'll do them for you now. And I don't suppose you could decorate them with gold-coloured icing, could you? Gold? Well, I think I've got some golden sprinkles somewhere. Why, that'd be perfect. See you later. Bye, Jeff. Pat and Ted are already at the school. Oh, OK. We better get going. I'll go and tell Ache. Ache, they're waiting for us at the school. Right, you. Uh, Ache, don't you think you should tidy up first? Oh, it'll keep till later. Come on, love. Well, this is where the rainbow ends. But we'll never find the gold in all this mess. Yeah, we will. We just got to look in all the pots. What about this one? It looks like gold. Oh, no, it's only yellow paint. Julian, we have to tidy it up first, not make it more messy. Then the pixies will come and show us where the gold is as a reward. I'm not tidying up. But, Bill... All right. The sun is up, the rain falls down, there's something beautiful in the sky. Every colour you've ever seen, red and orange, yellow, green, blue and indigo, violet. Finished. Now we just wait for the pixies. So, where are they? I don't know. We've tidied up for nothing. Oh! <gasps> Look! The rainbow has come back! But it's moved! It's at my dad's train station. No wonder we couldn't find the gold. They moved it. Come on, then. Sorry, Jess. Yeah. Right, Pat. That's the first colours, red and yellow. Um, what colours next? Oh, um, how did it go? Red and yellow and um. Hello. Oh. It should be orange next to the red, not yellow, Dad. Listen, red and orange and yellow and green. These are the rainbow colours we've seen. Blue and indigo, violet too. These are the rainbow colours for you. That's grand, but we haven't got any orange paint. Don't worry, we can mix orange from red and yellow, like this. <laughs> hey, clever. There. Finished. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, I'll have to tidy up later. I've got to get these to the school before the children get back. Sorry, Ajay. Oh, no bother, Pat. Hmm. How's it go, Nisha? Uh, red and orange and yellow and green. These are the rainbow colours we've seen. Blue and indigo, violet too. These are the rainbow colours for you. Now all we need is indigo and violet. I should be able to mix those from the colours we've got here. 
Let's look for the gold over there. That's right where the rainbow ended. Good idea. It's not here. Of course not. We've got to do something first. I'm not tidying up again. I bet you if we tidy up the station, the pixies will give us more gold than... than you can imagine. I can imagine quite a bit. Come on, Bill. OK. Oops. Nearly got caught. Oh, come on, pixies. Where are you? Hmm. There we go. Violet. That looks fantastic, love. Oh, dear. I nearly bumped into the children. Huh? Right outside the cafe when I came out with the cakes. Well, they'll be here soon. Where is everyone? <gasps> oh, look! Pixie gold. That's not very much. No, but it proves they're nearby. Maybe, maybe it's like a, like a, a, a sort of little reward. And if we tidy up here, the pixies will give us the rest of it. OK. But this is the last time. <laughs> Hang on. This isn't real gold. It's just sugar. Oh, oh no. no. But what about the pixies? We'd better get back to school for Dad's special tea party. Come on! Hmm, we've spent all day clearing up for nothing. I know. Quick, oh. the children are here. <laughs> I really thought the pixies would appear. Yeah, me too. <gasps> Look! It's a rainbow! And there's the gold at the end of it! Yay! Look at this! Surprise! Who'd like a fairy cake? Yeah. yeah! Fairy cakes? You mean it's not gold? Mmm! Mmm! These are great, Mum, thanks! You're welcome, Julian. I'd better get back. I left the cafe in a bit of a mess, I'm afraid. And I've got to clean the station and all. Oh, I, I forgot about the yard. It's a right mess. We've already tidied everything. What a oh, lovely oh, oh, nice. Yes, we thought that if we tidied up, then, then the pixies would show us where the pot of gold was. But they didn't. Sorry, Bill. Don't worry, Mira. This is much better. Well, it looks like there are some Greendale pixies after all. Yeah. 